Hey everybody, welcome back. My name's Rowan, and we're playing Dragon Age Origins once again. Uh, in our last episode, we finally got to the Brazilian outskirts, um, where the Dalish Elves have made their camp. Um, we're basically going around, talking to everybody, trying to help everybody as much as we can. Um, we still haven't talked to Cyril and Lanaya, which we're going to do next. Cyril is the Dalish storyteller, so we're going to talk to him real quick. We few wanderers greet you, Shemlin. We understand you are venturing into the haunted forest to save our brethren. I suspect your efforts may be in vain. An entire group of our hunters went into the forest to do as you intend, and they have not returned. And you are very brave to adventure into such a place, even knowing the danger that awaits. Your courage impresses us greatly. Wow, that seems like sarcasm. <laughs> Nothing will help us now. Least of all, the meddling of an outsider. You are being most unkind, Cyril. Would you refuse our hunter's help simply because of the hand? I have allowed my bitterness to cloud my better judgment. Forgive me, Grey Warden. It is most difficult to forget the lessons the Shemlin have taught us. It is even more difficult when you live amongst them, trust me. <laughs> Perhaps I can yet make amends. Stay while I spin a tale for our children. And then I will tell you of the forest if you desire. Come and join us then, all of you. Now, what say we tell the story of the fall of the Dales? Which of you children knows that best? I... I think I do. Yes? Then come, child. Oh, don't be frightened of the outsiders. Now, where do you suppose such a tale should begin? When we were slaves? Yes. Long ago, our people were slaves to an empire the Shemlin had built on the darkest magic. They took away our history and our language and left us nothing. And then that empire fell. We were freed. Because Andraste came with her army and Chartan joined her. Yes. Andraste, the Shemlin prophet, came out of the south and challenged the Tevinter Imperium. Our ancestor, Shartan, fought at her side. And when the rebellion came to an end, we were given a new homeland in the west, the Dales. We began to rebuild the culture and history we had lost in our years of slavery. We worshipped the creators and made the Dales our home. Perhaps you know what happened next, stranger. Do you know what happened to the Dales? Could not say, will not. What do you say, child? Can you tell us what happened to the Dales? The Shamlin wouldn't let us be. Indeed. They resented that we would not worship their maker. And they resented our ways because they were so different from their own. The Shemlin nations grew cold towards the Dales. They called us blasphemers and tyrants and declared war upon us. A great crusade. And which is worse, the actions of those who believed they were right, or the inaction of those who knew they were wrong? Oh, I am certain we played a part in our downfall. We believed that the Shemlin would not revoke their prophet's gift so lightly. We were wrong. They took our lands, forcing us to abandon our gods and live as beggars in Shemlin cities. But there were those of us who refused to abandon our ways blazoned the symbols of the creators upon their flesh and vowed to keep their ancient law alive. That's us. That's the Dalish. Indeed, child. We chose to wander, homeless, rather than be ruled by the Shemlin. And all our clans wander alone until the day we have a homeland once more. Then we bring the old ways back to our people, because they have forgotten it all. We are the Dalish. 
The Keepers of the Lost Law. The Walkers of the Lonely Path. We are the Elvenon, and never again shall we submit. And that is the tale of the Dales, stranger. Thank you for allowing us to tell it to you. Oh, gosh, that seems like trouble. I am curious what story I would tell, though. Perhaps one day you will tell us a tale of your people. A day when you are not guest and stranger, but savior. Now, as I said I would, I can tell you what I know of the Brazilian forest. Do you wish to hear it? Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell, Shemlin and elves both. So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful, much as Zathrian himself. The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees, the wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here in slavery? Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. No one knows. When the Shemlin lived in these parts, the curse spread anew to a few of them with each passing year. They would run off into the forest, never to be seen again. Eventually, all the Shemlin left. One assumes the werewolves survive by passing their curse to their offspring. They have had no new blood. Until now, that is. It is said that one or two have turned already, though the Keeper denies it. As for the rest, they will either die or turn unless they are killed out of mercy. I would rather die than become a ravening soulless beast, wouldn't you? One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within, unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. All right, your turn, Lanaya. I'm Darren Atishan, Grey Warden. My name is Lanaya. I am Zathrian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? I hear the human cities are very large, Thousands upon thousands of souls, all packed together in their houses. Is that true? How very loud that must be with everyone talking all at once. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. 
It is a difficult thought. Being accustomed to pain and suffering does not make it any less tragic. It is said that one day we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have a question, if it's not too impolite to ask. Do your people regret what they did to ours? See, that is difficult for our people to accept. Even if only some were in favor of what was done to us, the rest did nothing to stop it. A poet once wrote of them before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage, fearsome, pretty things. But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. A little cult-like. I'm hardly anyone special, I assure you. If I seem different from the rest of my clan, it's only because I was born amongst humans. I came to the Dalish at a very young age, but I've always retained my curiosity about the world I came from. My parents were servants to a human merchant whose caravans plied the southern routes. One day, bandits killed him, and my parents both. I was the only survivor, just a young girl, and the bandits took me. I was their... servant... for several years. It was. The long years of reflection have allowed me to come to terms with it, to put them in perspective. I can only imagine what would have happened had the clan not saved me from them. I owe them my life for that, and more. The bandits killed a scout when the clan passed near their camp. When the clan discovered him, Zathrian came looking for his killers. He followed their tracks for almost a month, and when he finally caught up to us, he fell on the bandits like a terror. No one could stop him. I sat there, and I watched him attack them in a blur, and I reveled in every blow. When he saw me, the fury in his eyes turned to pity. He took me back to the clan, and I've been here ever since. It's possible I might have had some, maybe many. Zathrian offered to take me back, but I had no idea where I was from, and I wanted to stay with a man who rescued me. The clan is my family. Any others out there? It's best they believe that little girl died with her parents. For now, the clan is all I need. My old world could not have offered me all this, and the knowledge of a keeper as well. Perhaps one day, when I am keeper, I might inquire out of curiosity. I'm not sure what lies down that road except pain, however. I am not a keeper. I am Zathrian's first. Though because I was not born into the clan, becoming his first was very difficult. We Dalish have old traditions. The clans come from the ranks of the nobility that once ruled the Dales, you see. The keepers of those old clans have the strongest and purest blood that reaches back to the days of Arlathan. I had to compete against the other candidates for first, to be better than them in everything, simply because I was not of the old blood. I am. The ceremony where Zathrian anointed me as his first was the proudest day of my life. The clan has placed great trust in me. One day, I will lead them and be the one who secures our future. A keeper is, first and foremost, the leader of the clan. He decides where we go and when we shall move. He's also responsible for knowing the clan's ancient lore and passing it on to the others in the clan. Without a keeper, the clan's knowledge is lost forever, so the clan protects him like no other. Nothing that you could not ask Zathrian himself. He is the keeper of this clan and has been for a very long time. He is also a very good man who has lost much. 
The Dalish are everything to him, and he would do anything to protect them. He lost his family a very long time ago. I don't know the story, but I understand the circumstances were horrific. As you wish. Darth Shiro. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't really seem... Uh, I, the other two games, they expand uh, on Dalish quite a bit more. So it actually sounds like a completely different language. Uh, diff, you know, pronounced in their accent rather than <laughs> uh, a different language that has the same American accent. I don't know. Just a little bit more... Uh, put a little bit more creativity into it, I guess. Alright, I guess we're off. We're gonna go out into the actual forest. I trust there are no hard feelings about my questioning of you when you arrived. We Dalish must protect ourselves from trouble at all times. These days, very little to tell the truth, for we've established a fearsome reputation amongst the Shenlin. We must still be vigilant, however. Not that I would expect an outsider to understand, but there you have it. We do what we must. You might have just told me you were a Grey Warden and saved me the grief, though I suppose I can hardly blame your caution. But I wish you good fortune with your task. Dareth Shiral. That's the world map. I'm going in the wrong direction. I got a level. Level twelve, no less. Oh, buddy. Oh, I probably shouldn't have sold all those swords. Great. We'll have to wait until we get another sword then. Well, that seems like a waste of a talent point, doesn't it?
there. Watch wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. A daily send a human of all things to repay us for our attack, to put us in our place. What bitter irony. beasts, but we are no longer simple and mindless. Let that thought chill your spine. You speak to Swift Runner. I leave my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. <sighs> that we do! How dare they send you here against us! Turn and leave, while you still have the chance! Was it not Safrian who sent you? <sighs> he wishes only our destruction. Never to talk. You know nothing, do you? Nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. You are a fool, and we are done. Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish and tell them they are doomed. I do not wish to fight you either, but we cannot trust you. Come, brothers and sisters, let us retreat. The forest has eyes of its own, and it will deal with intruders as it always has. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't miss anything here. attacking. Oh. Yay, win. Congratulations.
who ah uh, who comes a gray warden here but ah uh, uh, we were sent to find witherfang bring his heart attacked i And Darren Atitian, Grey Warden. Our scouts saw you approaching and tell me you carry the body of one of our hunters with you. Ah, Dagon. He is wounded, but I think he will live. Ma Sirenas, your help is appreciated. Come, Lethaline, let us take Dagon to the Keeper, and quickly. If we are lucky, we may still save him. Dark spawn. Damn. <laughs> Probably something we do with that tombstone. Very well. I shall do it. Ooh. We didn't really get everything back in that other area. Yeah, these guys here, those guys are enemies.
go. I was like, what's going on, man? You're still wrecking everything. Give me one sec, guys. All right, my apologies. Had to get something to drink. Can't change your party. This campsite appears remarkably intact. The tents and bedrolls are covered with leaves, but are dry and whole. The fire pit smokes and possesses embers enough to build into a small flame. There are no signs of any inhabitants. This is strange. The werewolves would not use such a camp, would they? Whoever this belongs to must be nearby. You get no hint of danger, though it strikes you as odd that the camp is abandoned. Perhaps searching the camp will give you more clues as to its nature. It is begun. You examine the remains of the fire pit. It has been untended for several hours at most. The embers draw you in, almost hypnotizing you. I'm surprised that fire hasn't burned out. We should tend it. Is there a stick about? <sighs> I am tired. The flames emit a sudden warmth, draining your strength even more. You turn away, the chill seeping back into your bones. You are, ex are exhausted. You look inside the tent and are surprised by how dry and cozy it feels. It is clean but empty. What a pleasant place to rest your head. The elven hunters didn't set this up. How strange. And yet it all just seems so friendly. I want to do nothing but remain. It takes all your strength to step back from the tent. A wave of weirdness washes through you despite your efforts to resist it. You examine the bedroll. It looks clean and warm. You feel like you haven't slept in ages. It would be so nice to curl up and sleep. I feel magic here. Draining my strength. We must leave. And soon. Unable to resist this strange siren call, you trudge back to the tents and quickly collapse and drift off into a blissful sleep. <laughs> Looks like everybody's dead except Wynn. And probably only because Wynn has that spirit. Alright, well.
With the Shade destroyed, the fog seems to lift. The camp that was here is ancient, and the remains of the Shade's victims all lie as if sleeping still. How long has that spirit lingered there? And how many has it preyed upon? I shudder to think of it. Well, thanks, Wynn, for saving all of our lives. And we're all injured. She resurrected all of us. Is he gonna? Is it he going to uh, attack us? He seems to be speaking in rhymes. <laughs> something that we never thought possible and unless thou thinkst it far too soon might i ask of thee a boon i have but one desire to solve a matter very dire as I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out, yet I shall die if left without. Without an acorn? Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. So both of these go to the east, east forest. Okay.
well. <laughs> Let me guess. We I ran in. I think we made any progress. We could barely see our way through the mist, and now we are back at the beginning again. Okay. There's three trees over here. about to get oh win too Wouldn't survive that. <laughs> I stand ready. I shall do it. Nathal's blessing. Werewolves might have laid a trap for us or something. You never know. You are human. I am. I was once an elf, one of the Danish folk. You do know of my clan. The Keeper sent you. Then you seek with a fang. I have, but it is not what you think. But there is no time to explain. You must listen. My name is Nine. My husband. He is called Atras. Please. Must bring him a message. The staff I will bring it to him. 
Tell him I love him. Tell him I am dead and with the gods. I beg you. I want him to be at peace. Poor lady. We're gonna go back and turn that quest in. We have another one to turn in too. Remember all these bears, yo. Honestly, don't remember that these guys being here. I think we have been up here. They just respawn new enemies, maybe. Turned. Is there any chance you have news of Denala? You have news? Have you found her? Are, are you certain? That is her scarf. Where did you find her? What's become of her? Keeper told me the truth. Are you certain? Oh, I see. At least she is at peace. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiral, fare you well. It is good to see you again. Have you need of something? Truly, let me see. Yes. That is indeed iron bark, and a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. An agreement is an agreement, and I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow? Or perhaps a breastplate? <laughs> Both. 
<laughs> no. I must admit I'm surprised to witness such generosity from an outsider. You have my thanks, and the thanks of my clan for this gift. I will not allow your generosity to go without at least some reward. Come, I shall make something of the wood you bring. I've reformed the wood to my will. It is but a small token of our gratitude, but take it as my blessing. An amulet, huh? Nature resistance. That's cool. Let's move. Well, I don't have poison making, so I can't use any of this now. That's all right. Honestly, I feel like I don't really need it very much. Maybe later if things get harder. Harder in the game. Go check on that gravestone and see if anything changed. I don't think it has, but... Nothing. You don't even have that anymore. Spell. Well, let's put it as an archer. Dirty fighting. Spell, Fanny. Activate mode, aim. Okay. Pretty much the only thing he can actually use. <laughs> Let's see. Ally. Enemy using magic attack. Attack. Enemy target of Alistair. Attack. And we'll move this up here. And then your behavior will be ranged.
was there? No. It's funny how fast they die now compared to what they were. Damn, there were two of them, huh? Clear lightning crystal. So it's a higher quality lightning crystal since it's no longer flawed. Yeah, and he gets dexterity and attack. As you say. It shall be done. Uh -huh. Oh dear, oh dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What are the woods coming to? already. Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. Wouldn't I have to ask you a question first? Would you know a question if it was asked? No! That is not a question. And if it be an answer, it be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Be careful, Grey Warden. This is no ordinary man. He is a mage. Driven mad, perhaps, but still powerful. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? <sighs> Suddenly it all becomes clear. You here, that talking tree there, it all makes sense now. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it, and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh, yes. What? Is your name? Aha! Uh -huh. So you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask! Ask away, I dare you. <laughs> Let's see. 
I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. Oh, and what do you have to trade for the acorn? A book, eh? What sort of book? Elven history, you say? Hmm. That might make for good reading by the moonlight. Or it'll be better than using leaves. Give me that. Using leaves? Oh, gosh. There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Hmm. Where were you born? So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long, but I will see through it yet. Mark my words. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I still have that old helmet and the book. <laughs> and what do you have to trade for the helmet? Hey, I once had a ring like that. This one's shiny still. Yes, I'll take it. Give me that. There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Let's see. Do you have a knowledge of the arcane arts? <laughs> Oh, well, that's disappointing. But wait, what if you were lying? Ah, you thought to scamper away without suspicion, did you? Well, I'm on to you. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. I still have the book. It's not missing too many pages. And what do you have to trade for the book? Ooh. Shiny. I could lure a few ravens with that pretty. I'll be feasting for weeks, months even. <laughs> Give me that. There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. What is your relationship with your father? <laughs> Interesting. Most interesting. So that means that you did indeed have a father. <laughs> ah, I knew I would trick you <laughs> sooner or later. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Yes, I live here, and it's not as bad as you think. Where else to go, eh? I must stay away from them. They're out there and looking. They will take your secrets, oh yes, all of them, and leave you empty. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Oh, I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. What's this now? You again? Why don't you go away? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Have you ever seen the Grand Cathedral of Val Royo? Rat! I've always wondered what it looked like. Oh, well, it was worth a question. Your turn. It's where the wolfmen have their lair, but the trees will block the path. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. Oh my, no, that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. 
Would you be so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? You know of it? Good, that makes this much easier. Yes, that's the one. It's up to you. Yes, indeedy. Your choice. Time to move on now. Oh, I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. All right, now we're going to go back to the Grand Oak. Give him his acorn. Uh, excuse me. I think we can actually get the secret to... Uh, I think we can get the secret to the fog. Uh, from the Grand Oak, actually. My acorn is still gone, so I pray to thee. Hast thou any news for me? My joy soars to new heights indeed. I am reunited with my seed. This cannot pass without reward. I shall give what little I can afford. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find you. Thy days be long. Thy winter's time. Cool. We also got some other things. Let me just double check on those. Ancient El Elven Helm. That's what we got. Doing so good so far. We got ancient... Thought we had ancient... Yeah, ancient Elven boots. We got ancient Elven Helm. Now we just need the armor. We get a book too. Baelish gloves. The book. Archons of the Imperium. I think that book has something to do with this gravestone. Uh, gravestone. At the very least, I think it's worth it. We check. Oh shit! More werewolves. You gotta wonder what the light wolves are doing traveling with them. Aren't those like a dyke, uh, dyke, dark spawn thing? A dyke spawn? <laughs> That's the game boss, the dyke spawn, guys. <laughs> no, can't do anything with it. Yet. Let's see, let's check out our quests. That one's here somewhere.
we'll have to turn this in. We got this one and this one. Now we need the Venrim and Deep Roads. Okay. Okay. So nothing else to turn in. We're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to go through the fog. Actually, you know what? Instead of the fog... It's another ancient tombstone. Let's go back to the hermit and the tombstone. Make sure we didn't miss anything here. Besides, they keep respawning enemies. I have a feeling that's going to be important. We're going to respawn some more enemies in this area too, probably. Yeah, there they are. Why didn't I see that before? You are not welcome here. Doing the Templars dirty work for them, eh? Templars or mages, it means nothing to us. There is dark power here. And you won't stand in our way. Well, how about this? Take this! <laughs> so overpowered. Black hand gauntlets. Mage plus 20 spirit damage. And I got a vulnerability hex on me. Let's wait for that to fall off. Juggernaut plate boots. Yeah, Juggernaut armor is like the best armor that you can get in the game. Um, or, or just about the best armor. So I'm hoping that I can get this for... Uh, for Alistair. As the tank. Hey, there's the, her the hermit again. Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out.
Okay, okay. That's fair. Alright, this is where we're going to call it. We're over an hour. Not too far, but it's time to call it. Uh, this was a good video. I had fun. Plenty of combat. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please like and maybe subscribe to my channel. Maybe give me a comment or something. Leave me a comment. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good night, and we'll see you on the next video.